Hi, this is Gary LaRue, Technical Editor at Microwave Journal. We have a special episode of Frequency Matters. I'm talking with a former colleague from Maycom, from my days at Maycom, Graham Board. Graham, thanks for coming by the studio today. Thank you for the invite. Sure. What's your current role at Maycom? So first of all, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today about our new exciting range of uh, high-performance mimics. My current role is uh, Senior Director of Product Marketing at Maycom for the ORF Small Signal and uh, Passive Products within the ORF Microwave Business Group. So that's a lot of words. So as I understand <laughs> it, you're kind of responsible for the catalog product segment? Yes, that's, that's part of it, although we look at the verticals as well. So tell me a little bit about the markets you're particularly focused on with the catalog products you're developing. So primarily right now we're focused on test and measurement, SATCOM, CATV, wired broadband, ISM, also on A&D cuts and you know, the catalog uh, general play as well. And what is it about some of those markets uh, that, that makes them attractive to you? Well, I think the markets are very attractive to us now because of the, uh, the dynamics of what's happening in the markets, particularly from a competitive perspective. As we're all aware, there's been tremendous consolidation in the market over the, the last number of years. Um, we've seen a lot of consolidation in the RF semiconductor sector, uh, so much fewer players in that sector than there's been in the past. And it's presenting significant challenges for a lot of the customers in these segments. We're seeing that a lot of the incumbents are actually um, exiting these mm. segments, um, obsoleting products, obsoleting portfolios, and you know presenting tremendous opportunity for Maycom uh, to come back into the market and to service customers' needs. So when you talk to customers with some of these products, what do you find really differentiates the company? What do you bring to the, to the market with your products? I think first and foremost, it's the 60-year heritage that Maycom has. I mean, that's a great calling card for yeah. us, right, when we go and visit customers. And then the domain expertise that we have in, in RF microwave and millimeter wave. We're very focused on developing high performance mimics. Um, and we've really expanded our RF engineering uh, competence and uh, organ or organization over the last number of years. So we've added a lot of horsepower, if you will, to the uh, RF engineering side of our company. So, you know, it's a combination of all of those things, coupled with the fact I say that, you know, we're focused on this market. We see a tremendous value and we can deliver that value to customers. What are some of the process technologies that you use in developing these products? So it's, so it's a multitude of process technologies. As you know, we have a, a number of uh, leading edge uh, captive internal processes that we use, but we're not captive only to those internal mm -hmm. processes. We'll use the best leading edge processes uh, outside the company as well. So it's a combination of uh, gas, GAN, SIGI uh, by CMOS, mm. our diode technologies internally. So we'll, we'll use whatever the appropriate technology is and then put that with the engineering competence that I referred to using the best tools to deliver the appropriate solutions to the market. So one of the old expressions at Maycom was the, uh, what, best junction for the function? So that's the... <laughs> exactly, best junction for the function. So yeah. that's the case. Yes. So at the European Microwave Show, I was amazed you introduced 27 new products. Yeah, we were tremendously excited about that. 27 new products to the market. Uh, it's a very big deal for us. I have to say the show went tremendously well. Uh, the new products were very well received. Our biggest challenge now is probably keeping up with demand for new products that customers want. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going with a very comprehensive portfolio to our customers, the existing legacy portfolio, augmented now with the, the new product that we're developing and that we're bringing to market. And, uh, you know, customers are excited. They're encouraged at the fact that Maycom, a scale, credible RF microwave, you know, known entity right. in, in the, uh, the RF space is, is, is investing and developing uh, these new products. So they're engaging with us to develop more products required for the market. So without going through all 27 products, <laughs> are there one or two that you want to highlight? I think so. I mean, I think the best-in-class uh, distributed amplifiers, DC to 22 gigahertz, mm. you know, we have a 2-watt device, 1-watt, and we're fleshing out that portfolio and family with uh, a half and a quarter watt offered in bare dye and plastic packaged parts. Um, we have uh, octave band VCOs that we brought to market yes. uh, from 2 to 20 gigahertz. I think the 10 to 20 gigahertz part is a, absolutely a leading edge part that we've delivered. We've already secured a number of design wins mm. uh, with that particular part. And then it's just a slew of product covering DC to uh, 100 gigahertz. You know, we've introduced some uh, very high performance V-band devices and W-band devices also. 
You also made an announcement at uh, European Microwave in uh, co collaboration with X Microwave. What is that about? Yeah, so we were very excited about that partnership that we have with X Microwave. It's uh, it's it's another value add service that we're offering to our customers um, if if they want to use it, and it's to help to accelerate with uh, prototyping, developing, and uh, time to market in designing new systems. It's almost. Uh, Kind of like a Lego system where yes. you have fully characterized uh, microwave blocks uh, that you can cascade for full front end systems very, very quickly determining system performance and migrating uh, through the development process uh, rather than the, uh, the, the usual way we do it with the, the rat's nest of wires uh, connecting all of the prototyping boards. It's a, it's a very elegant solution. It was very, uh, very well received at the, uh, the show. And your products, uh, the full range of products will be available through them? So to date we have I think about 20 to 25 parts, mm. but we will be, all of the new product that we're launching um, will go to that platform, that development platform as well. And then we'll look to the um, highest value add product in the legacy portfolio also to, uh, to launch with X Microwave. I see. So if we look to the future, uh, what can you tell us about where your product roadmap is going? So I think coming off the show, you know, the announcement of the 27 parts that we just talked about, um, that quite literally is the tip of the iceberg for mm. us. Obviously, we're committed to this market. We're going to see more high-performance uh, amplifiers, uh, control components, and passive devices that we bring to market as we push uh, higher in frequency and higher in power. You're going to see those in bare die configuration and also in uh, package configurations. Well, that's an impressive uh, set of goals because, as we well know, being in this industry, companies kind of seem to have different views about uh, catalog products, and it looks like Maycom is making a real commitment to this area. Absolutely. I mean, we see tremendous value here, right? And uh, again, going back to what I'd mentioned earlier in terms of, you know, the, the legacy that we have as Maycom, and, you know, that calling card certainly uh, mm. helps us with, with customers. I mean, I'd have to say that one of the things that really resonated with me from the show is the, the number of customers who are incredibly excited and appreciative of the fact that we're investing in the space. You know, they want to partner with us. So we're also aligning in each of those verticals that I talked about, we're aligning with um, the lead customers in those verticals, making sure mm. that our roadmaps align with those as we repopulate the catalog. Good strategy. Well, Graham, thank you for coming by and talking to us. Graham Board from Macom on Frequency Matters.